Not too much on my burnt bacon, but I'm drinking chlorophyll with my breakfast to cleanse my body. And then I have the emoji waffles, French toast, and bacon. Bacon burnt, 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 but it's okay. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. But we're about to eat. And while I eat, I'm gonna watch something. This is the food. I already showed y'all. Bacon, three slices of bacon. Four French toast sticks and one Memoji waffle. And my chlorophyll water. I'm probably gonna watch OJ because OJ be going live on Twitch and it just be mad funny. Like his his streams on Twitch be making my day. So that's what I'm about to do while I eat. I'm eating in my bed, which I don't do, so we're back. It's currently 12:20. And I'm about to define my curls. I sort of like wet them and I wet like my edges and stuff. I'm gonna show you how to back my hair. But this hairstyle is really cute. Like if you're a natural girl and you struggle with like wearing your natural hair, I feel like this is a cute style because I don't necessarily know how to do washing goes. I'm really like a braid out type of girl. So this is basically like a braid out and a wash and go in one. Or like, you know, you have the braids. Like it's a cute combination. Like if you don't know how to do wash and goes, like you still want your coils and your curls to show, this is still like a better, a good alternative. So I'm about to show y'all what I've been using. So I used this. This is the main choice prickly pear paradise. And I just put it on my coils. Do this hair so I had used this green tea super moist leave-in conditioner with the green tea argan oil. I really love this. And I had got this from TJ Maxx. Like and I had got this from my sister. This is the Miss Jessie's baby buttercream. I'ma show y'all. I'll show y'all what else I use to fry me because I have another bottle, but I don't want to open it yet. But it's mousse and this is the olive oil one. And yeah, it's good. But we're gonna see if this will actually curl my hair but i guess i'm gonna use it throughout my hair and while i do my hair we're gonna actually talk i don't really talk to you guys and now that i got a camera it's like less montages like i still love the whole montages but i'm still gonna try to implement talking into my videos which is something that i'm trying to work on so while i curl my hair we're gonna actually sit down and just chit chat. 
Okay, first we're gonna talk about my new camera because why not? Um, the camera that I have is the Sony ZV E10, and you're probably asking why I didn't get the the ZV1. It's because everybody was saying the camera quality is not the camera quality. Everybody was saying that the um the battery wasn't so good, and it's like why spend like eight hundred dollars on a camera and the ba the battery it sucks like it, that's the only reason i didn't get that because i didn't really want a canon just because everybody has one and i fake wanted to be different and a lot of people don't have this camera i actually seen this camera while i was scrolling through tiktok and i was like yeah and another thing for the sony camera they didn't have no pink cases and i'm why would i have a camera and not have a pink case so that was another turn away. I don't really think this is defining my coils, but whatever. We're going to just keep using it. Another thing we're going to talk about is social media fast. So in the beginning of January or like, yeah, I had did a social media fast or I just took a break from social media. And it was actually really good, like really, really good. And I just feel like we all need to do that like just get off of social media my social media fast was like for a week literally a week so it was like the sunday to the sunday yeah it was sunday to the sunday and i was not on social media at all like i was not really reading more but i was mostly listening to podcasts and stuff like that because i fell in love with podcasts recently so that's what i was um doing Honestly, I'm giving up on individually pulling my hair, so I think I'm just going to rake it through. But yeah, that's what I was doing. Just into podcasts more and trying to like read my Bible more and get back my relationship with Christ. And I feel like a social media fast really did help with that. Now that I have social media now, again, it's just like life sort of feels toxic again. And it's just like, I don't know, like without social media, it was just so peaceful. So, so peaceful. So, I don't know. We're going to talk about makeup because that's something that I want to know how to learn how to do. Like, I'm really about to be 19 and it's like, I really don't know how to do makeup. Well, let me not say that. I don't want to put that out there, but like, I have everything to start practicing doing makeup. So, probably in my next video, you guys will see that, but... I literally spent everything on, literally spent mad money on makeup these past weeks. Like this whole month of January, the whole month of January, I've been buying stuff for makeup because that's something that I actually want to learn. And I also want to learn um, how to install wigs. So that's another thing. Like that's probably going to be something else that I buy as well. Like the things that I need to make to practice ways like the glue hot comb all that stuff is gonna be something else that i purchase but i don't know when exactly i want to learn how to do that but yeah i don't know how my hair really looks but yeah that's literally i want to learn how to do those things just because like i fake think i could be a nice wig influencer like i need some free wigs like wig company need to start sponsoring me because i don't know i feel like i don't really want to be a braid a braid girly anymore like don't get me wrong i love my braids but i don't know maybe they need to come out with some more braided hairstyles and i'll get back into braids because i've been rocking braids a lot since i was in college but now since i'm not in college i feel like there's no point to be having braids or to get my hair done which is bad because i told myself like this year i want to um get my hair done once a month like every month I want to have my hair done and I also told myself that I want to gift myself something every month just like to show off of myself so for January I really really wanted makeup and stuff so that was basically like my gift to myself and this month I've been wanting this perfume like I really been into perfumes lately and wanting to um start a collection that's probably what I'm going to get myself for the month of February. Or I might get myself the wig stuff. It depends. But basically, that's literally what I want to do every month. Like, if there's something i really, really been wanting for the whole month or whatever, then I'm going to gift it to myself because why not? So, yeah. 
that's another thing. And I learned how to do my own lash extensions. Um, I will definitely do a video on that soon when I get better at it. Because right now, they look, they, I could do them decent, but they're just not as voluptuous. Like, they don't have a lot of volume. Like, how, you know, the lash techs be having volume. Like, the ones that I do just give classic and natural. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, there's nothing wrong with no classic lashes. But it's like, I'm about to put a little bit of this, the pink stuff in here. There's nothing wrong with, um, classic lashes. But I really like lashes with volume. And I know a lot of girlies like that too. So when I learn how to perfect that, then I'll give you guys that video. And yeah, I feel like I talked to you guys a lot about everything that's been going on. Yeah, I haven't really missed a lot, a lot. Like I just, all that happened. Well, I've been going for a month off of YouTube and there's really no reason as to why. Like, there is a reason, but, like, I'm not making no excuses, literally. One of the reasons was, obviously, first of all, this braid always bothers me. This one right here. And I think it's because it's mad thick. Like, it's very thick. And I think that's why it be bothering me. But, for starters, I hope my hair looks good, especially in the back, because I can't see. And I'm looking at my vanity mirror, which is right here. So, yeah. But... We're about to do my edges, so we're about to use this. Honestly, everything I use on my edges turn white, and I feel like it's because I'm either using too much product or it's the edge brush that's dirty, literally. But it is what it is. Like I really, I'm not going outside, so if my edges turn white, they turn white. Like I really don't be caring anymore because it's like I've been dealing with this for too long, so I don't really care no more. But back to what I was saying. It wasn't really no reason. It's just like when I record on my phone, like I'm doing everything on my phone, like reels, TikToks, and um, what else? YouTube videos. It's like my phone don't got no time to breathe, no storage, no nothing. And then it's like space was a problem. And then on top of that, it's like the motivation. Like if the motivation really isn't there, I'm not going to force myself to film. And whatnot. Now that I got a camera and that was money, I really have to put in the work just to be back on track. I feel like last year around this time, I was really growing on YouTube. Like, I could tell you how many subscribers I gained last year, January. I think that was the most. Because last year, 2022, for January, I had I started January with 208 subscribers. And at the end of January, I had 352 that was probably like the most subscribers I earned like in a month time frame on YouTube. Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it 
So I'm back in my room with my smoothie. I got a habit of doing that, like with a straw. Like I will take the straw and do, do that. I don't know where I got the habit from. But yeah, this is the smoothie. It's giving sorbet. Well, it's nice and thick. Like I can't even. It's a thick consistency. And I love my smoothies this thick because it's like it will fool me at one o'clock i'm gonna set a timer to read my book and i'm gonna show you the book i'm reading so this is the book i'm about to set a timer because it's 12 59 now it's one o'clock hey siri set a timer for an hour one hour counting down Right, so I'm done and so far so good a lot of juicy stuff happened in these couple of chapters but I'm about to put some perfume on because like, I don't know like when you when you smell good you feel good <laughs> so I'm using the that should be my last struggle I'm using the same perfume I used in my last video is the it's too much light. Okay. It's the choco 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 musk. It just smells like cookies and chocolate and vanilla. Like all in one. It smells so good. But I have the perfume and I have the oil, but I'm putting on the oil because I'm not going nowhere. I'm literally staying in my house all day today. Which sucks, but it is what it is. Not gonna lie y'all. I fake want to take a nap, but I feel like that's not okay. But I don't know, like, I do need to, um, eat. My sister and I yesterday, we didn't really buy food. She told me she was going to bring these to school. She ain't going to bring them to school. Her bagel bites. There's only four. I don't really want that. I'm still a fan, even though it's salty. If I can give one piece of advice from one Christian to another, anybody that is really struggling to self-improve in their life is that there is a part of you that needs to die. And there's a part of you that needs to be a way for your new self to be reborn. And what a lot of people think is that, hey, like my old self is myself. Like I don't want to change myself. I shouldn't have to change myself. But you have to understand that was never yourself. And that your highest self is your capability. It is your true identity. It's the one and true form of yourself that you can accept and you can be happy with. Um, the the person that you are now is something that is <laughs> is not close 
to anything of what you could be. So um, it's not you dying. It's you dying and being reborn into something new.